Hey everyone, Scott here from Simple Mechanic Advice. Today we will discuss the signs, diagnosis, and solutions for a bad catalytic converter. Here are the signs to look out for. The catalytic converter reduces carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, and nitrogen gases your car emits as you drive. It transforms these gases into less harmful forms, reducing your car's environmental impact. When damaged or clogged, the catalytic converter presents the following symptoms. A check engine light. The catalytic converter is connected to a downstream oxygen sensor that monitors your vehicle's exhaust gases. If the sensor detects an issue with the exhaust gases, it sends an error code to the vehicle's computer. When the computer receives this signal, it illuminates the check engine light. A rotten egg smell. Catalytic converters have a honeycomb structure with catalysts that convert emissions into odorless gases like nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur dioxide, and carbon dioxide. You'll get a rotten egg smell if the catalytic converter doesn't convert hydrogen sulfide into odorless sulfur dioxide. Rattling noises. You may also hear rattling noises when the honeycomb material breaks apart due to age. This sound comes from your vehicle's underside and is prominent when you rev your engine. Reduced gas mileage. A damaged catalytic converter may clog the exhaust line, reducing your engine's efficiency. When this happens, your engine will overwork to keep up with your driving habits resulting in more fuel consumption, which hurts your fuel economy. Sluggish acceleration. Finally, a bad catalytic converter may create back pressure, which could cause an engine misfire. This misfire reduces engine efficiency and causes a sluggish acceleration. As the catalytic converter gets worse, your engine loses more power. Here's how to diagnose a bad catalytic converter. Check the catalytic converter's temperature. Park your car on an even surface and raise it on jack stands. Start the engine and wait for it to reach operational temperature. Measure the temperature of the converter's inlet and outlet pipes using an infrared thermometer. Calculate the temperature difference and compare it to your vehicle's recommended range. The ranges vary among vehicles, so consult your owner's manual. Check the exhaust back pressure. Ensure the engine cools down before proceeding to prevent burns. With your car jacked up, Locate and remove the downstream oxygen sensor. It's usually near the catalytic converter's inlet. If you can't find it, consult your owner's manual. Connect a pressure gauge hose attachment to the open port, then start your engine. Once it reaches operational temperature, check the pressure gauge readings and compare them to your vehicle's specifications. Excessive back pressure readings, typically above the manufacturer's specifications, may indicate a faulty converter. Read error codes. Park your car and switch off the engine. Locate the OBD2 diagnostic port under the driver's side dashboard. Connect the scan tool and turn on the ignition without starting your engine. Follow the scanner's prompts to read the error codes. A faulty converter may have codes ranging from P0420 to P0434. Here's how to fix it. Unclog the catalytic converter. Using fuel additives. Run your fuel tank to about a quarter or half of its capacity. Add catalytic converter cleaner to your fuel tank. The amount varies among vehicles, so consult the product's instructions. Drive your car for 30 minutes to circulate the cleaner fuel mixture, then top up your fuel tank. Drive for another hour, then check your car for error codes. Using fuel additives may unclog your catalytic converter, but results can vary. If issues persist, we recommend professional diagnosis and repair. If these steps don't work, remove and deep clean the catalytic converter. Here's how. Wait for your car to cool down before raising it on jack stands. Locate and remove the catalytic converter. This may involve unthreading the mounting bolts. If it's welded on, you may need specialized tools. Once removed, submerge the catalytic converter in a cleaning solution. Leave it for the specified time before rinsing and drying. Reattach the converter after drying and check if the issue persists. Replace the catalytic converter. Raise your car on jack stands and wait for it to cool down to avoid burns. Unthread the converter's mounting bolts and detach the old component. If it's welded on, you may need specialized tools and technical skills to proceed. Once removed, install the replacement part. Ensure it's tightly fitted to prevent exhaust leaks. Check if the issue persists. Thanks for watching.